on this episode of Picker Road, we just finished a marathon session on whatnot in the Picker Road Boutique. And what's a better thing to do after that than going thrifting in Las Vegas? And after all that work, I think we deserve a special treat. Wait till you see what we're going to get. As always, we're going to take you along for the adventure. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. Well, we just finished an amazing whatnot sale where we opened mystery vases filled with the most incredible jewelry that we had purchased at a Goodwill in Henderson. So we decided that was so good. Let's scoot over to this Goodwill. We've never been here before. It's near Silverado and we're excited. What will we find in here? Come along and find out. Okay, let's head to the hard goods. Well, it looks like they brought out a fresh cart. I'm trying to see if there's anything available yet. What is that? Ooh, it's kind of Talavera looking, isn't it? It's a, bank. it's a piggy bank. He's kind of marvelous. He's not marked Mexico, but he's very Talavera. Let's get him. Let's see what else the cart has. Up high there, William, do you see anything? No, I see a, I see a thick ball and I see a weightlifting bar. We've got a, a mug, Love Land. Love land. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nice little mug. Let's see, was there anything else in here? Got a fondue set. Fondue pieces are down there. Okay, let's go to the aisle and see what we can find. Okay, so we've got some, oh, aren't those funny? Little cheese spreaders for a wine party, $2.99. They're from Ross. Very fun though. Oh, look at this. Candlestick and wood. Dust not included, $2.99. That looks kind of old. That's interesting. I, it's very interesting, but I would like it better if it, um, was cleaner. Uh, I could clean it, absolutely give it a good cleaning, but if there was more than one. I think one like that of that size is kind of hard to place. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you could use it in a setting where you had books and maybe smaller ones, but I don't know, just not, not inclined on that piece. Look at this little teapot here. It's not marked. It's transferware. Let's see what else we have here. It's a interesting top. It looks like a European brand of something. Look at the trivet here. What is the design? Looks almost like uh, Central American. You know, I can't even make out what that is. Can you guys at home make that out? Here, what does it say on here? It says vintage 1952 cast iron trivet girl walking. Oh, I see it now. Okay. There's her feet. Uh huh. And there's her little dress and the bonnet. Okay. Oh, how much do they want for that? Six dollars. What they have on it? It looks like it came from a uh, a vintage store. Well, I think that's kind of fun. I think maybe somebody would like it. I'm going to take their word for it that they. They know that that was a 1952 piece. Let's go ahead and put that in the cart. Very good. All right, so we're doing good so far. Ooh, look at this. I, I'm very attracted to that. I really like that. It's the Casabella by Gans. Unfortunately, there's a piece missing right Aww. there. I'm always, got hungry. I'm always very attracted to that. It's very, Vict the Victorians mm. love that. Somebody was just too hungry to wait. <laughs> they had so many pieces of like fish and all sorts of, of pieces like this. What, what is this? Ooh, that's very, pr Nicole Miller home. We just had a piece of Nicole Miller on something. Hmm. We buy so much. How much is that? 
That's only $4.99. Very nice. That's a beautiful paperweight. Beautiful. And look, see it's signed. The Cole Miller Home. Excellent. Let me check all the corners. A uh, little, little dingy right there, but not bad. I would say that's definitely worth picking up. It's very pretty. Okay, let's put that in the cart. We have a flamingo. Not a very expensive one. And New Orleans, Louisiana. Look, it's St. Louis Cathedral. Made in Japan. That's an old piece. $3.99. I think if there's a set, it might be more enticing, but I think we're going to leave that. Is this Lennox? It does, but look at this. It's got all sorts of stuff going. Nope, oh, it's not Lennox. It fooled me. It's not Lennox. Let's go around here and... Let me put my Nicole Miller down. And let's look down here. Got quite a few dishes. Girl Squad. Look at all the Disney princesses. It's an official Disney, but it's really chipped up. I know, that's sad. Very, very sad. What is this? Gallery de Flores. It's a little plastic piece. You know what sounds good right now? Stand. What? what is it? Gingerbread cookies? You feeling the holiday spirit there? Look at that cake stand. Now we're into the mug section. We've had some good mugs lately. Remember that mermaid mug we found oh, in yes. Santa Barbara? And of course there's this guy. Oh, he's a hoot. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else we have. That's a that's a bold choice for your food. <laughs> Let's look in. Oh, cookies make everything better. What is it's so, a spot to put your cookie under you put your, your, your mug. cookie? <laughs> that's funny. Who's it made by? It's Avon. Avon. Okay. That's kind of fun. You know what? I'm, it's 69 cents. I think somebody might get a kick. It's brand new. Why not? I think someone might get a chuckle out of that. Why not? It's unusual, you know? That's what I like about it. Have you seen anything? Uh, not yet. I'm looking. Ooh. It's a two. Bazaar del Mundo. Looks like, looks like Odagiri. That would be nice if there was a set of them. That down here. Oh, it's a doggy. That looks like it might have been used, though. Put it back the way I found it. What do we see? What do I'm we see? Looking. We're in the glassware now, and let's see. We've got oh, my first piggy bank. It's nine, uh, 2013, and oh, that's sweet. I think that's probably kind of a common piece. What is it? Light up shot glass by Gans? Oh, if it had a battery and it would light up. Okay. This is an unusual piece. It looks like it was metal, but it's actually plastic. It's Disney. from Disney Parks. What would that be from? From the, the castle? I'm guessing from Fantasyland. From Fantasyland. Do those have any value? Let's find out. Well, we looked this up. It's from the Animal Kingdom in Florida, Disney, and they go for about $9. So I think we'll leave it and keep on moving here. We've got a nicely painted hobbyist piece, little kitty cat trying to get up the clock. I thought a mouse ran up the clock, not a kitty. Let's see, what else? Here's the vases. You thought that was Lennox, didn't you? I was checking. You were trying. It's it looks not at, Lennox. It's not, but it, it looks like it could be. Oh, see how heavy that is. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a heavy one. Flat rate chipping. Checking out the vases. Ooh, that's plastic. One's heavy, one's weightless. Weightless. Blue vase. Trying to see anything back there. 
Not that I can see. Sometimes we find the most amazing stuff hidden in the back. Oh, look. Ooh. It's a leopard. It's a tiger. It's a tiger. Unfortunately, it's very, very dirty, though. It has a lot of staining on it. A little board for putting up signs. This is the wood section. Aww. And... He's a hoot. Cute puppy. Cute puppy. There's a cat. There's a cat. Let's see. Oh, that's so funny. That's very funny. We're doing a cat sale on Wednesday the 23rd on whatnot. So I think that would be a pretty funny addition. Let's grab that. Grab that cat. Now, what do we have up here? I see animals. That's a cat, right? No. That's a fox. That's a fox. And what would it say, Will? Na -na -ning 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 -ning. Look at these little Christmas ornaments, little manger nativity in there. There's three the same. What is this? City of Las Vegas, a little garbage can. I don't think we need that. Let's see. A lot of canvases. Uh-huh. I see that. Ooh, I love this rabbit. Oh, he is so funny, but his buddy is uh, not doing so well there. Oh, I do like him, though. Try to see if he's cracked. Oh, he is so broken. You know why? Because he's very light. He's like paper mache almost. Mm. I just think he's too cracked. Isn't that too bad? Or as the British would say, papier-mâché. Papier-mâché rabbit. And you, of course you're taking that from Phantom. A papier-mâché musical box in the shape of a barrel organ. The little bunny. Nothing too special there. What are these? Easter eggs. Look at those. Well, those are kind of interesting. Glass Easter eggs for a basket. Oh, I like these. They're kind of interesting. Except it's open. Did somebody take one out? That's not good. Hmm. They're not terrific. And they're heavy to ship. So, bat. I've got decisions to make. Oh, no. Look at you. Oh, he's cute. Is he a bank? No? No, no I think a he's, a, he's a little warmer. A little warmer. And the other's a votive. This is a votive. Halloween is not that far away. I'm just trying to see. He's not very well painted. Yeah, no. He's got a lot of little bits on him. This one, though, I like this one. I think for $1.99, that's going in the cart. Thank you, Will. You're Thank a hoot. You. What are these? Those bunny ears? Bunny oh, ears. Oh, bunny ears. That is too cute. I might wear those during the sale. I was about to say. <laughs> what do we have here? I'm seeing things. Oh, that's so fun. That'd be a great giveaway. What else do we have? Let's see. We got some well, Easter I buckets. See, I see the bucket. I'm not going to no. do that. Me. Those are pretty easy to get. What are those? Okay, we, are, we already have a fun Easter sign. And then this guy. Yeah, I think I'll just do these these items. And what what is that up there? Can you reach? Is that an Easter gnome? I don't know. It's oh an Easter goodness. gnome. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, please. Yes, please. How much is he? Uh, three ninety nine. Beautiful. He's wonderful. So now we've gone from Easter to Christmas. We have a little Coca Cola. I don't know, is that a dog? Or is, what, what is that? I'm not sure what animal that is. We have some Merry Christmas. Ha ha ha. Oh, look at this back here. I like that. Look at the little chimney display uh, with a it looks like fireplace. From it. Yes, it does. Santa coming down, right? 
World's best mother. Looks Aww, like that wasn't. Do an... I need to buy that for you? No, dear. It's an ashtray. <laughs> but thank you. Oh, look at this little bear. He's kind of sweet, but unfortunately he is chipped. Let's see what else. Oh, Aww. Again, though, she's not very high quality. So I can't, can't do anything with her. And what do we have here? We have a, um, some sort of, it's a dolphin, I guess. I couldn't tell whether it was a whale or not, but it's actually not very good quality. Unfortunately, look at that. There's a little spike missing. This little guy is not too bad. Two ninety nine. What is he? Is he? He is JPEG patriotic. I think pup. it's whoever owned that other piece. There was obviously like a consignment shop that they took things out of. Oh yeah. I he's just not high quality. Look how poorly it's painted. Mm. People aren't going to put that in their collection. What is this back here? Got a bag of little like stained glass ornaments. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see. I don't. $2.99. I don't know how terrific these are. These little ones in front are plastic. I'm trying to see the, if there's any metal ones that are any good. Well, I think for $2.99, I'm going to go ahead and get those. And let's see what else we have here. These are very poorly done fairies. And here we have sun catchers. Christmassy sun catchers again, a not terrific quality. And of course, there's a hooty owl. The dong. Oh, oh, what are these? Those are funny. Those are funny. However, he's missing his nose. Aww. Well, you guys are kind of fun. Well, I think we've got some cool little treasures here. Let's see if we can hit another goodwill. All right. Another Goodwill? Let's give this one a try. Guess where we're going, Will? Hard goods? Yes! Well, I like this Roadrunner piece. Look at that. It's fun. It is. It gives the story of the Roadrunner. A handsome and courageous bird, common in the southwestern states. So... It's from New Mexico. It is. I think that's a nice piece. What is this piece here? see what that says. Oh, same Whoops. artist looks like. Looks like it. Cave of the Winds is where it was from. It's from Albuquerque. And let's see. 1979. And $7.99 on that. I think those are kind of nice. I think I'm going to get those two pieces. Interesting. Oh, look at that little tidbit tray. Isn't that sweet? Ah, uh, Perry. I know it's a modern piece, but sometimes things are just so charming. $8.99. It is a cost plus. Hmm. As I examine it, the well, I don't know. I'm gonna say I don't know about the quality, but it is just so cute. Just such a cute little piece. I think I have to get it. Look at the poodle. Aww. And the Eiffel Tower. I think we're gonna pick that up. Petit bijou. Petit bijou. Let's see what this little box is. Uh, just a little hobbyist piece. Oh, the little watering can. Hmm. I don't think so. Some eagles. Ooh, look at this bird. Oh, look at the chip right there. Oh, darn. That's a shame. Cause that's a shame because he's actually very, very beautifully done. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Let's move down to here. We have some horses carved. Carved horses, seven ninety nine on that one. I don't know how I feel about these. I know, I believe these these are made in Asia. I think they're kind of pretty. I don't know what the collective. Can you can we do a quick look up on those, Will? Let's do it. Well, it's interesting because it matches my nail polish. No, um, it's interesting because they're all over the place. They're sixty nine dollars on Poshmark. They're $35 or $40 on Amazon. But the important part is that they're supposed to be very good for feng shui uh, and they're good luck. 
and I think I'm going to pick them up. I think they're well carved, and uh, I just like them. We can get those, and while we waited, this was right next door to it. Look at that. Interesting. It looks like silver. It's not. It's kind of like a composite, but I like it. I like the way it looks, so I think I'm going to pick that up, too. So I got two things to put in my cart. I really like these Odagiri salt and peppers here, but yeah. unfortunately the spire has been destroyed on this oh. one. Oh, look at that cat. She's wonderful. It's too bad her ear is broken. All right, let's see what else we have here. A little cup. Oh, look, there's the other one. There's the other one. Oh, that's so sad. And the other one has got some chippies on it, too. Darn. Okay, I'm going to have to leave it as much as I want to take it. And look at these home co. Those are home co butterflies. You clip those on or just decorate with them on the wall. Just like that. Two ninety nine. they are from. Now here. So I would say 50, 60, 71. 1971. Yep. I learned Roman numerals because of old movies. Hmm. There's only two of them? Looks like there's only two of them. Butterflies are free to fly. Fly away. Bye bye. I think somebody might like those. When you're finished with the concert, what do you think? Yes. All right kind of trying to do a mercury glass kind of thing down there and let's look at this bird not a high quality it's not a high quality porcelain so I'm gonna leave that I don't even know what to say let's just take it in for a second and ponder what we're looking at um, I think we're looking at a lot of cow chefs is, are those cows or those hippos? I thought they were alligators. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is that a cow, a hippo, or an alligator? Turn it so they can get a good look. So we, we kind of know what we're going for. I don't think it's an alligator. I'm going to go for either a hippo or a cow. We have a little chintz piece. What does that say? What does it say? Let's see. Ah. Uh. So hard to get off. It says something under there. I think that's very pretty. Ah, it's a sweet little set. I know that, look at that little bit of blue. I know that said Japan. I like that. Let's get that. All right, we, you know, we're getting some stuff here. We're getting, our card is starting to fill up a little bit. Let's see. What is in this baggie here? It looks like a doll. It is. Oh, she's a very sweet little red-headed girl. Let's check out the mugs, I think. Well, the mug selection's a little bit on the light side, but we're still going to take a look. Let's see what we see. Oh, not good there. We have, oh, the plastic. That fooled me. What does this say? This says, friends are the donuts dunked into the coffee of life, except they don't break off and turn into sludge at the bottom of the cup. That's a bit much. It's a, it's a lot to read. It's a lot to read, I, I'll give it that. And we've got our glassware. Let's see if this, Justice League plastic. Well, shall we check out the art? Let's do it. Let's check out the small art. See if we see anything. Tons of frames, that's for sure. Lots and lots of frames. What is this? This looks like, like an old frame. Oh, let's see that piece. That is a print. It's not a live 
original piece. What do we have here? A bunch of prints. Oh, oh my. Look, look at, at that. these. Look at that tiger. That that's a leopard. You're not gonna get me on that again. They went nine ninety nine for for him. As beautiful as he is, that's a bit much. Are they all gonna be nine ninety nine? Oh, I'm afraid they are. We have an old truck. We have a dolphin. <laughs> a ram. Ah. The flamingo. Marie Osmond was playing there at the time. Ooh, a white tiger. But these are obviously the Siegfried and Roy tigers that oh, were photographed. Oh, yes. Hmm. That doesn't have a price on it. I'm sure they're all going to be $9.99. $9.99. Oh, beautiful. I wish they were a little less money. Maybe we can catch them when they're a little bit less money if no one grabs them up. What is this, William? This appears to be a shadow box. I don't think I can lift that. Can yeah, you get it? It looks like it's golf themed. Golf themed shadow box. Whoa. It's heavy. Very heavy. Oh, that's interesting. I think that's something like from Home Goods, though. Mm. And oh my goodness, look at we. Let's put that back down so it doesn't fall. Looks like we have some more prints. I wonder if that's from that same artist. Look at the Bellagio with the fountains. Nice. Twelve ninety nine, so these are great. Very good, very good work. Okay, what do you say we take our goodies and check out? Okay, so we were on the way to the checkout, and as we were walking by, we saw this on one of the shelves. It's a Toulouse Lautrec print from the artist, of course, famous for his Paris prints, and I love this cat, and I'm going to put him in our cat sale on the 23rd. Well, after a fun night of picking, we're trying a place that we've never been to. This is CJ's Italian Ice and Custard. There are several locations across Vegas, and it sounded so good. It's 10 o'clock at night, and it's still 100 degrees out, so why not grab some cold custard? This all looks delicious. I think we're going to split a banana split. Ooh, look at that. Wow, nothing like some delicious cold custard on a hot night. All right, we devoured that down. Time to recap today's finds. We had a fun night thrifting in Vegas. And that was some delicious custard. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. It's helping us grow our channel. If you're not, what are you waiting for? It's absolutely free. So subscribe to our channel, ring that little bell, give us a like and leave us a comment. We read each and every one of them because we want everybody 
to join the journey.